good it feels to sit back in the saddle after an awesome vacation and get ready to record a beautiful wheel of mutt. Now, as you know, there's a few things that happened last episode, and a lot of it's kind of scary, actually. Now, let's start with the good, okay? I have three eggs to open. This is my first recording since the Easter eggs opened, and if you remember two episodes ago, I got a wheel spin that let me get three large Easter eggs. Two of them happened to be extravagant, and one was large. And that's these three eggs right here. And as you can see, this extravagant egg is a guaranteed 97 overall series Redux player. So if we get a dupe of a player we already have, that would suck. But most likely, we're gonna get something awesome. The gay pride egg uh, comes with Carl Nassib, guaranteed. I'm gay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is a wild card Wednesday player. And I think it's a 94 or 95 plus, uh, which is flashbacks, heavyweights, rising stars, veterans. So it's gonna be somebody good, but you don't know who. And this extravagant egg right here is a 97 plus ultimate legend guaranteed player. I say we start right here. Let's kick this shit off hot. A 97 overall guaranteed Redux player is going to be Charlie Joyner. Okay. I was kind of hoping for O-line like by Tonio, 97 left guard, a 97 speed, 97 overall wide receiver. Can't complain about that. I'm going to go with the wild card Wednesday egg next. Let's hope it's a heavyweight. It is a heavyweight and it is a center. Tyler B. It is. That's what I'm talking about. Now, wait, I'm going to go throw these in the lineup and then let's see what we're gonna want for our ul who is my center right now my center right now is dog water it's kevin molly that is an amazing pull you can't ask so much more than that it takes our team to a 94 overall here's the problem with charlie joiner though low key uh, i love two tall jones i love dk i love cooper cup i guess joiner's just gonna be wide receiver four and i'll probably put him at slot receiver as well so this full ultimate legend bryant mckinney 97 left tackle would be sick i think munoz also has a 97 left tackle that'd be really good too eric dickerson would low key be crazy i think there's a mike allstott how sick would it be to have like a cracked fullback. That would be really fun. A right end, like a true right end would be awesome. I think, do you guys remember Gobble Goosh? You know what? I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm gonna open the pack. Let's just open the pack and see what we get and then we'll talk about it. If I get Gobble Goosh though, oh, if you guys remember Kareem Abdul-Jabbar got Gobble Goosh from a long time, we little ago, he just got a 98 overall. He might be limited though. Whatever. A guaranteed 97 plus. I'm blocking it. I don't want to see early. Don't you ruin that shit for me. And it is and to Joe Jones! What did I say? I wanted a legitimate left end. His stats are insane. His speed for being six foot nine, 270 is just stupid. I'm gonna put Shaq Bird at right end and I'll put too tall where he should be. I also have three AP to spare on defense. I wouldn't mind giving something to too tall Jones. You know, I'm actually gonna give him inside stuff. Not sure how well that'll work on a left end, but I do wanna try it. Dude, with the way William Perry has been playing, cause I never, I rarely have just crazy good D linemen, but with how good William Perry Perry's been. I'm really excited to see basically Ed Two Tall Jones do the same thing. And now that we're at 94 overall, we haven't even done a single wheel spin on today's video. So let's do our wheel spins, and then once we get into the gameplay, I'll talk about the bad stuff. You guys should remember it from last episode, but we'll see. Final season, baby. Let's keep it. Let's keep it going up, dude. 94 overall is great. Left guard, right guard would be awesome right now. Preferably left guard. Backyard ballers overall wheel. All right, boys, we get one backyard ballers player. But they must be... Wait, slow down. Slow down. This is yes. Yes. Oh, the jackpot. I mean, I think the move has to be Randy Moss corner. That Randy Moss corner is so good. It, like, it even shouldn't be in the game. I kind of think it shouldn't be in the game. It's so good. Dude, low key, I was a little excited to get 97 because there's the Barry Sanders right outside linebacker. But this Randy Moss is so good. Can't say, there's nothing to say other than that. 98 overall Randy Moss with 97 speed, 96 excel. Amazing coverages, six foot four, 210 pounds. It's kind of hilarious that my corners right now are Randy Moss and Julio Jones. I will move Asante Samuel here. In case someone gets really tired, it'll be nice to have Asante Samuel as a backup. They're basically, Asante Samuel matches up pretty well with Randy Moss, but he's five inches shorter. That is an absolutely insane start. There's like a one in 10 chance we'd get 98. So let's get it. All right, I'm not really sure how we're gonna finesse a left guard, but if I can get some coins to spend here or something like that on this wheel spin, I am, I am God reincarnated. Heavyweight jackpot. Alex Leatherwood, 95 overall. Dude, where's a left guard, bro? Dude, I thought heavyweights would be amazing. The next best left guard is Jonah Jackson from the Lions, 92 
overall. So it looks like we're going with the right guard. I, I seriously don't know why, but I love running to the left side. It's like a random personal preference thing. I have no idea why, but that's why I preferred my left guard. Either way, Leatherwood will be nice. And this is a jackpot. So I can go with the power up as well, which will actually take him to a 96. So now, ironically, the right side of my line is stupid stacked. I've got 96 Leatherwood. I've got 95 Beatas down the middle and soon to be gold 99 Deerdorf on the right side. Let's take a peek at our boy here. And five strength, 96 pass, uh, 96 run. You speak my language, buddy. I love it. All right, boys, 94 overall. A awesome looking two new interior offensive linemen, as well as a new wide receiver, Charlie Joinier. A beautiful new left end, a beautiful new corner. What more can you ask for, boys? All right. Let's get this challenge wheel and I want to make a mention on the challenge wheel a few episodes ago I added a piece to the challenge wheel Which was I could either open the pack or salvage a player or upgrade my power-up player I am going to remove that new rule the new rule about adding to my power-up player I'm taking it out. I don't want wheel of mud to become this big fucking laundry list of rules I want to keep it simple. I need to earn my power-up. I have played like shit shit to Anthony Barr. That is nobody's fault but my own. I can't start tacking on rules to make it easier for myself. So let's make it happen like an absolute stud. Let's see that challenge wheel, baby. What you got? Uh, 140 plus. No, it's not gonna be QBR. Is that hat trick? It has been a minute since I have completed this challenge. One player needs three touchdowns. Now, the bad news. There is a whole like eight hour period where the servers were so fucking dog water that if you tried to play a game, not only would you get the loss, but so would your opponent. Literally nobody wins in that scenario. It wasn't like EA did a coin toss and they booted you and somebody randomly gets the win. They literally fucked everybody. So I'm four and three right now, meaning if I were to lose today, I'd get booted to the main screen. Now, I don't plan on that happening. I plan on just winning my games going to playoffs anyway, but we have no choice but to play perfect boys. So that was the sad news, but you know what? We're gonna make it work by winning every single game. Randall C, Megatron, and Mike Hughes. Lions theme team. It's actually a Lions theme team. Then why are you in Chiefs uniforms? What's going on? I'm on with St. Brown right there. Who are you, bro? Little jet touch pass, maybe? Oh, play action on it. Hey, Clay Matthews almost had one. Let's start, though, boys. Yep, all the best players are for sure in right now. Bar up the middle. Oh, we don't get to him. Nope, he's not going to run it. We knew that. I'm on bar. He might throw the little check down, big hit. He just barely had that. Ooh, Megatron too, we're hitting hard. All right, a few different underneath routes. Ooh, good pass deflection. We don't get anything for pass deflections on the upgrade, but it's a great play from Anthony Barr. I'm happy. Something underneath maybe? Yeah, I kind of figured he might go there. He throws so low every time. There's nothing open. Oh, it's an actual handoff. Right in the middle. Mud! Anthony! Fucking Barr! Let's go! Marched his ass all the way down the field to get lurk. That's one upgrade. Ooh, I can feel that as soon as he released it. Got Metcalf under. I like this. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't let. Don't let. Dude, that Hawkinson is so ass. He's so slow because he's like an 88 overall or an 80 overall that I got picked. Any other player that's a touchdown. I forgot that that Hawkinson is so shit. Dude, he's got like 82 speed. Oh, I'm so dumb. I just sold an excellent opportunity. He's got like the 97 overall Hawkinson. PA, PA jet sweep, right? Oh, actually runs it. Oh, big hit. Yes, a huge hit. Sean Taylor somehow just got held up on that block and he just walks in. Either Cooper Cup or Marcus Allen. Marcus Allen. Or wait, why did I just call Bo Jackson Marcus Allen? What the fuck? What just came over me? What can I say except you're racist? That was so weird. I have never done that before. Okay, whatever. They're both Raiders running backs, all right? All right, so he takes, uh, he takes Bo. He throw Cooper. I want to run the ball so bad. It's second and 10 though, so this is really risky, but I'm gonna do it. No, block him! It's your only responsibility. Luckily, Bo is an animal and took those yards, but that was like really bad. There he is. Oh, cut that back. Barson? Barson Balmer? Boy's got some wheels on him. Oh, Bo. Oh, what a catch. 10 seconds on the clock. I'm not going to take my field goal yet, but anything I throw here, it just has to be a touchdown. Yup. 
Oh, we love to see that. Eight seconds left. That's a touchdown. If I'm going for the hat trick, it's going to be Cooper Cup. Barr up the middle, and that's a sack. Two upgrades, Anthony Barr. Seven to seven. Wow, I didn't think that would work. Oh, what a route. Second and ten. I believe in Bo right now. Damn. Hey! Go, Waller. Go, Waller! You're not Hawkinson! You can run that shit! Let's go! Darren Waller! Over the top! I knew it. As soon as he released the same way as Hawkinson, I was like, yep, except that's Darren Waller. To pull up my hat trick, I would need two more touchdowns with either Cooper Cup or Darren Waller. Not the most likely thing in the world. I don't drop 28 that often. But hey, if we have a slug out here, I'll look for Darren Waller. Play action. Oh, we sacked him. It's just Devin White. That's fine. You can throw that check down. You can check down to Hawkinson all you want, bro. Oh, no shot. And this guy used all his luck tokens today. That's insane. Probably wants to throw this. Oh, that's a bad ball. If he scores on this drive, I will genuinely be tilted. Hawkinson might be open. Not only is he open, but my dude runs past him and doesn't make the tackle. Oh. Oh, that is just a bomb. I don't know what that play is, but it works quite well, clearly. We're back there. Let's go. That's not open. This. Everybody's ready to guard. He doesn't run the ball. Great news. My, no way. No way. I'm right there holding wide. Dude, this Anthony Barr is so ass. He can't animate. I don't care. I'm still going to win, but I'm getting completely robbed right now, and it's pissing me off. Easy. Easy throw to Metcalf. Bo fucking Jackson, bro. Snagging on the sideline. Carson Palmer! My guy! Eats that shit on the one yard line! Who are you? Fucking maniac, dude. Bo Jackson up the middle. Come on, boys! 21 to 14. If his bullshit offense finesses in the end zone again, I will be surprised. Oh, a draw. Damn, way too many yards on that. I got everything covered here. Everything! And Ed Tuttle Jones, I think, actually sacked him. I think he lost yards. Third and one, inbounds. Massive play from Tuttle right there. Oh, I was mad close to that. The zig is open. He gets nothing. They know it's a pass. A crossing concept. Oh, he wants to get out of bounds. I won't let him. I won't let him. Great play, Ramsey. Third and four. I know where you want to go. He go out of bounds here. That's fine. Go get him. Go get him. to 14! Woo! That's the ball game! What more can you ask for, boys? What more can you ask for? Battle of the QBs, Carson Palmer with a better QBR, 97.1. Honestly, would have been way higher. That INT, it wasn't unlucky because I shouldn't have thrown it if I knew it was shitty Hawkinson. I just like forgot in the moment. 12 for 22 is 18 for 29. Rushing. Bo only had six attempts, but they were six. Like, I was really happy with how they went. Carson Palmer with one of the clutchest plays I've ever seen to run to the one yard line and get flattened and hang on to that shit. I'm so proud of him. His Hawkinson, 7 for 86. Bo, 6 for 69. Darren Waller, 3 for 90. Cooper Cup, 2 for 21. Really, it was, it was our defense that won us the game. There's me on Anthony Barr as the user, okay? I see the slant. I follow it. Now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking he wants to throw the back slant. So I stutter for one second to fake him, to bait him into throwing the forward one, and then I go right back to it. That's what this stutter step was. Open the hips, pretend I'm going back, maybe he'll throw it, and then I go back to the one I want him to throw, which is this one. That ball is right in front of him. Look at this. Oh, I think once Anthony Barr gets maxed or almost maxed, I'm going to put him at outside linebacker and I'll move Devin White back to middle linebacker because I do love Anthony Barr, but the only reason I have him at middle linebacker right now is to help out. One upgrade takes him to 89 and two takes him to 91. I am one, two upgrades away from a 95 Anthony Barr with that beautiful most feared art and then one, two more for the gold 99 Anthony Barr. 
No challenge wheel complete. I did get three touchdowns. It was not a hat trick. I just needed to throw touchdowns to whoever was going to take it. All right, y'all. Four upgrades away from a maxed Anthony Barr. Two games away from the playoffs. So if we go at this pace with Anthony Barr, we're in, we're in shape. All right, hey, I love you, boys. Thanks so much as always. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.